hi guys guess what guys today i'm going to be making some delicious homemade curry powder yay wow i've been using this i've been using this recipe for quite some time now and i thought i should share also with my friends so that you can make your homemade curry powder guys this curry powder is very very flavorful will i say aromantic <laughs> it's so nice guys you are going to love it better i mean better and very very better than the market but curry powder so guys today's i will be using some this is cinnamon powder just very little like one over four teaspoon of cinnamon this is already blended this is powdered one in case you have the cinnamon stick you can just cut half of it so over here i have little chili just two pieces just two pieces of chili pepper here I have a turmeric powder is one of the main ingredients for this recipe. For that color you see in curry, that yellow color is turmeric. Uh -huh. So over here I have my cumin. Over here I have my garlic and ginger powder. Over here I have my coriander. Over here I have my fenugreek. Some call it fenugreek. Why some call it? fennel seed fennel seed or fenugreek so i'll be leaving the quantities of these ingredients of my description box okay so now to the main business N now we have already blended turmeric we have turmeric powder already so what we are going to do now take away all the powdered ingredients and set aside Set this aside, and now we have this. Remember, I have a black pepper. I'm using one and a half teaspoon of black pepper. Black pepper, who you know? Black pepper. I'm using one and a half teaspoon. Here, I have bay leaf. I just want to add just one. I love the flavor in my curry powder. Okay, guys. Now, remember, I have chili pepper, just two pieces is optional, okay? You don't want to add chili pepper, forget about it. And you feel like you don't want to add bay leaf, please forget about it. And you also feel like you don't want to add cinnamon powder, forget about it. Or cinnamon stick is purely optional, okay? But addition of all this gives your curry powder a very nice flavor. And of course, you know what that does to your meal. So today's, I'm going to start by roasting all these dry ingredients. I'm going to roast it for just one minute, not more than one minute. One minute or two minutes. You don't allow it to get, let me see, burnt. Just to roast it, like you know when you are when you decide to roast your crayfish, just to bring out flavor that is what we are going to be doing so so guys i'm going to start by pouring all this thing into a frying pan or pot anything you have or either pot frying pan either of them so i'll start by adding a chili a bay leaf a black pepper So, I'm going to be roasting this. Okay, guys, I'm also going to be using some curry leaf. I'm using my oven. Just pick it like this and put it inside my oven. Just put it inside my oven for it to dry. Thick one. If you don't have an oven, you can just put it under the sun, allow it to dry before you finally... Add it to the other ingredients. So, guys, just a few minutes, like 10 minutes, our curry leaf is ready. 
at it. So I'm going to pour it inside here. So now I'm going to take this notification. So guys, why this is going on? Remember to have your blender standby. I'm going to be using spice grinder. If you have a heavy duty blender, better to be easier. At least we just blend everything at once. So I'm going to be using spice blender. So you have to keep this aside, set it aside. Why? We go to the kitchen. Let's put this on the fire. Let's toast this on the fire. So guys, I'm going to toast this for 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Just for 60 seconds. The reason is that, you know now, when it crisps, it will be very easy to blend. 60 seconds. Remember, 60 seconds. Make one minute. So, 60 seconds. Make one minute. Don't forget that. is coming out already so once you start perceiving the aroma you know that yeah it's getting ready so i can perceive the flavor already is it flavor or aroma is aroma scents scent is for body spray perfume is for body spray also aroma is for cooking Flavor is also for food, okay? The flavor now, the flavor, the aroma, yeah. Wow, it's coming up, coming up, coming up. My kitchen smells so good now. Remember the reason we are doing this is so that it will be crispy, dry, to bring out its natural flavor. Just like uh, when you are roasting calabash nuts, you may give me. You know, once you put it on the fire to roast it, it has different flavor than when it's uh, so it's ready. I'm putting it off. So what I'll do now is to allow it to cool down. So I'm going to allow it to cool down. So we start blending. Okay, guys. It's ready. Look at it here. Remember, I have these ones. The powders are all separate. Then you need a missing bowl. You need a missing bowl. And of course. So let's start blending immediately. It has, it has cooled down a bit, not much. I'm going to be taking it little by little so that I will have a very smooth powder.
So this is the last one. It's ready. Look at it. So remember, we have we have our cinnamon, cinnamon powder. Be adding it. We have a ginger powder. Add it also. Just turn. Just mix together. Means very very well. Very very well. Very very well. Means very very well. So I want to scoop out some. Just like when you are making your custard, when you are adding your egg yellow, you have to make some tests. You don't just pour everything at the end of the day, you not get the desired color. Now I'm pouring in the turmeric powder. So I'll mix this together. I'm going to be putting all the turmeric powder. Everything. If you feel you need more, you can add. I feel this color is okay. So let me mix very well. It's still too light. Let me add a little so. Then more of this. Or oh, let me add. It tastes gradually. So let me add everything. So now I have added all the other powder mixture. I bought this curry powder like two years ago. So because I don't like the color, it's too dark. It's so dark, so I don't normally use it often, especially when you want to make fried rice. It's so dark for my liking. So that is because there's not enough turmeric powder. So you see, guys, our curry powder is ready. So guys, I present to you my homemade curry powder. Look at this, guys. Isn't this lovely? Mm. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Isn't this lovely, guys? Mm. The flavor, eh? In fact, all my apartment is, is, is eh? Mm. Oh, look at this. Mm. This is lovely, guys. I hope you are going to try this. Please, if you are coming across my channel for the first time, you know what to do now. Again, again, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, 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 and subscribe, and be a member of this family. I want to subscribe, guys. You see that bell bef beside the subscription button? Press it. Again, again. So you'll be getting notifications whenever I upload a new video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Obuchi still remains my name. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching today's video. Thank you. Remember to store your curry powder in a very tight container. It can last.